and heal it out. Think about it, heal it out, and that'll go all the way down to zero, okay? You want it to be zero and you want it to be white. Don't force it, don't think it's there. You'll know it because it will not be, it, the self-talk will not be the same and the feeling will be calm and to the point where, oh, wow, I don't really care, okay? Okay. Okay, right now you have this program and it's just building up to the point where it's kicking your ass and beating you down and we need you to be able to get your life force back by stopping creating those signals over and over again, okay? Okay, sounds good. Alright, keep us posted. Thank you for calling. Okay. Stay blessed. Bye, thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. And we will take our next caller. Uh, Alrighty then, which is area <laughs> code... 917, you're on the air. With Brenda, Jen, and Scott. Hi, good evening, thank you. And hello, how can we help you? Hi, I would like to know what energy do you get from my absolutely amazing boyfriend, Corey? Alright, so you want me, us to read Corey, correct? Yes. I need you to focus on Corey so that we can get and make sure we're in the right frequency of getting the answers that you seek. I feel like he works really hard. They're showing me a picture of how he's uh, attentive and he's concerned of making sure you're happy um, because they're showing me the picture and over and over. Now i got to figure out what else do they want me to know. And they said Jen will be drawing a card in just a second because they're going to make her. Ah! He needs to slow down just enough to breathe and enjoy you, enjoy his life, enjoy the journey. And part of him is waking up, but how fast, we'll see. As far as waking up, it is part of, um, what do you want to call it, becoming, I don't know about religious, but spiritual. I don't want you to get that confused. I want you to, he's waking up to his true self. And there's a part of him that needs to be the one to say, I choose this, and then go after his dreams, go after his authenticity. And when he does this diligently, he will regain his strength so that he and you can then move forward in the future that you're looking for. But he needs all of himself including the energies of the earth so you can feel grounded so that you too can have a great life. Scott, you <clears throat> grabbed a card also. The magic prayer. <clears throat> Speak your prayers, listen for the answers, act in faith. <clears throat> when you see the magic prayer card, it is a reminder that your prayers will be answered. Spirit is always willing to help you and to heal you when you're in need. That said, the best prayer is, Thy will be done through me, Thy will and not mine be done. Conscious contact with your higher power is achieved through the ritual of prayer and meditation. Speak and listen to the divine force within the field of creation. Surrender your wishes and desires to spirit. You may not get what you want, but you will surely get what you need. Your destiny awaits you. As long as you keep in conscious contact with your higher power, be assured that you are on the right path. And that is, they're all telling you that as soon as he starts to listen to a um, higher vibration, um, he will then be able to rebirth himself and he will be able to start creating where he needs to so both of you can be on a, I would say, an abundant journey from what I can see. And so you can have him listen to the, the archives and blog talk or have him go on uh, as soon as we get the YouTube edited and put up. You can be watching that as well. Um, so does that make sense to you? Yeah, we're just trying to figure out why he was being so quiet. He wants to get married, serious, now he's just quiet. Well, because he's not understanding which voice. When you're waking up, um, sometimes it is breaking the rules of all of the things that you were told to, that you learned. You learn to behave, you learn to have manners, you learn to do this, you learn to do right, you learn to do wrong, you learn. And when you're waking up in a spiritual sense to who you are and stepping into the passion of who you are, you sometimes get confused with these voices. He can do one healing tool, and that is thought management on mwreveal.com. 
um, healing tools, it's thought management is because these darn voices from his parents, his uh, maybe the church or family friends or whoever, even including himself, is probably degrading him, saying, oh, you're not doing it right, you don't want to go after that, self-doubt, self-sabotage. And, and so sometimes you can't make your head clear because there's all of these extra thoughts. So when you get too many going on, you end up closing down to some degree where you don't talk because you can't decipher those 41 thoughts per minute. And if he hears all that going on per minute, then it's going to become overwhelming to the point where you'll shut up and you have to take a break. Okay? Okay. All right, so just give him a chance. He's in the growth period. A growth period is where you're learning to earn your wings. So he's going to be finding all the things that, is, that can go wrong, probably will go wrong. I don't like that phrase, but what it means is he has to understand how it won't work, and then he has the solution of how to make it work. So when it shows up again, he won't even have to hesitate. He will already know how to do it. He's earning his wings because he wants to do something big, and that is to support you, love you, be with you, and he doesn't want to fail because he also has the um, encoding of being a male, which means your job as a male is to constantly take care of the female, which is a lot of responsibility for a man, especially when you're thrown out in the world and says, you now have to survive. Well, now not only do you survive, you gotta, you got to support the woman you have, or the children that you'll have. And so, he is learning to grow right now, okay? Okay, do you see what we'll be moving in with each other? All right, let me ask this question. Um, yes, I can see you moving closer together, being with one another, but it's not going to be your time frame. And so when you look at your clock and say, oh my God, it's not been, it's two o'clock, it's been one month, he's still not moving, he's still not making it happen, and you can literally see his, you'll see it is that he's not loving you. You'll lose your optimistic, you will become more pessimistic, you'll be looking at it because you're looking for a result. In this case, you just let go of expectations and learn to live in expectancy and allow good things to come and start noticing the little things of greatness because then when you do, it'll unfold the way it's supposed to. Okay? Okay. All right. Um, yeah, you just have to watch and make sure you don't drive yourself crazy with self-talk of, of self-doubt, all right? You did nothing wrong, and so get out of that area of thinking, oh, I did something wrong. Just let it unfold. Yeah, so he just was quiet. I'm like, what is wrong with him? So Nothing. I didn't want to nag him. I'm not just right. saying his case. You know, I know how he felt, but I didn't know if he was angry with me about something. And, and sometimes they need to retreat. It's the rubber band thing. Um, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of the author, but he's the Mars and Venus guy, and he talks about yeah, John Gray. Yeah, yeah. The, the rubber band that they pull back, but when they come back, they're going to come back stronger because they had that time to recoup, rejuvenate. Mm -hmm. And, and whatever they needed to do to be that much stronger in the relationship. Okay, so just, just understand, don't keep questioning it and going into fear mode. Because then you're going to make your worst fears come true. You're making something that's not there. Okay, so just breathe. Go about living. Show him love, but don't have to do it. Be worried or over-concerned. That all can be healed out too. But just be patient. It'll all start to unfold unless you need to teach yourself a lesson. And if you do, then... Use our healing tools. Yeah, because you don't need a bitch slap. But otherwise, I see you guys moving forward together. Thank you. All right, thank Thanks you. Stay blessed. Okay, and your phone, when you talk, it like kind of goes out a little bit. That's what the other person was saying. It kind of like... Hmm. It is your word, so we have to really listen close. It's, it's, yeah. It's a little difficult to understand you. It must be the blog talk. And or thank Skype. you very much to showing me that, okay? You're welcome. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Okay, I'm wondering if we move the, the laptop closer, that it'll pick up our voices better, because it could be um, a, an omnidirectional type thing. And we'll see if we can fix this on our end. If not, I will probably then... 
uh, what do you call it? Um, I'll hand you the cards when you need Okay. I'll probably then go and get headphones or do something. I could even call tonight and put it on the telephone, which you guys will hear me a heck of a lot clearer. But first we'll try this, and you guys keep us posted. We will be grateful for that. And okay. right now we're doing the chat room anyway. So we're going to the chat room. <laughs> and um, it's Redhead Angels that had a question that wanted a general reading. So if you can start typing when you hear us um and interact through the chat room that would be great to let us know we're on the right track because there is like a like a five to ten second lag between what we say and what you, when you hear it it must have just been that it was far away so because they're saying it's working better now all right thank you all for wonderful helping us understand what the problem is and we're working together so thank you so hopefully you'll be able to pick up my husband as well and anytime that you ha are having trouble no. hearing this Remember, there's a YouTube, and it picks us up greatly. It may not pick up the caller, but it will pick us up. So you won't miss any gems when I post it on the uh, YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash. And we have an old one, which is Medicine Woman, the number four letter U. And we have a new one, which is Medicine Women Reveal. Okay, so what does... This so, wonderful person want to know. Okay, they started interacting. They wanted a general reading. You got it. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm hearing laughter, laughter, laughter. Um, and then I see annoyances, like little gnats and flies. So somebody likes bugging you and think it's funny. Oh, I had to heal that last night, teasing. <gasps> the tease? Yeah, you did. That's right. Um, because it, it, we, you learn as kids when we tease... And sometimes we build a wall against it and, and interpret it as we hate it, which can then literally stop you from wanting to have relationships with people. Her husband for sure. Oh, good. Well, good. We're on the right track. Yeah. So um, I have to find out what does your soul want you to know? I'm okay. Glad I never tease. Ha, ha, ha. All <laughs> right. One of the things is, is the reason your soul is projecting him to do this is to show you how you... Uh, and, uh, how you figured out what it meant, so how to cope with when you were teased at six years old. And so when he teases, it actually makes you stop dreaming. It doesn't, you know, put the blinders on, you don't want that, don't go there, oh, you can't do that, and, you know, and basically it's stopping you from saying, oh, I want to read a book, oh, I want to be a star, oh, I want to do this. And this is what I feel is you've learned as a kid that you're cued by teasing that you need to stop and focus on your job, your duty, and what you're supposed to do and not think about you. That is what they're pointing out. Okay, so did anybody, uh, Jen has one, but she's typing. Um, Scott, why don't you grab one real quick? And this was a card for why the husband's doing it. Ah, and the one before, <laughs> which twice. is the magic prayer. Again, pay okay. attention to how you speak and what you pray for. When you ask for, for answers and you forget you ask, mm -hmm. that's a prayer, they'll give you an answer. And then when you're complaining and then that's a question, then they give you an answer to that one. So sometimes we forget when we ask. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just watch what you say in, what, in your prayers, okay? Uh, Jen. And I got the paradigm shift that's happening again, and surprises. Um, and so that's the perception. So what are you perceiving in your reality that needs to change? Because the big picture is, um, is unfolding, and the angels want to help, but it's the perception of what's going on currently that is standing um, kind of as, n not an obstacle, but a challenge to get to the bigger picture. Hmm. Interesting. So hopefully, well, we're going to wait a second, see if she says if there's if that's good. I feel like she just was looking for information at this time, mm -hmm. and need to wrap her mind around it. Okay. And if she said, and the husband teases a little. Yeah. Sometimes you know, as children, us boys or men or guys, you know, if we like a girl, we as little kids we hit them, you know. Yep. And trouble is, some of us when we grow up. Instead of hitting, we tease a little bit. 